you know, guys, actually, I'm just like, I'm just kind of living like in Wyoming, you know? Oh my God, I can't get day off to save my life. Well, folks, it's, um, what is it, Thanksgiving, e Thanksgiving evening. I don't want to say a big thank you for everyone tuning in. It means a lot to me. Um, I'm packing my bags, as you can see. Ugh. And I'm on, on my way to Dallas, Texas, to go see Dolly Parton perform at um, the Cowboys halftime show. So as soon as I finish this video, that's where I'm going to be making my way up there. I got my drama radar going we can catch ah oh, the Jeffree Star Eugenia T. Now I do want to say a big shout out to Wolfgang Production 7402. It's been brought to my attention that we've been using some of Wolfgang Productions clips and haven't been giving them credit. Now I don't edit all my videos, so I just want to say I apologize to uh, Wolfgang Productions um, 7402. So make sure you give them a follow. And uh, yeah, they're a small channel. They get, they collect receipts, and we just, uh, you know, we've been using them without crediting them. So I want to say I apologize here on behalf of the Rich Lux team. So hopefully you can forgive us. So again, check out Wolf Gang Productions seven four zero two, and thank you for, uh, you know, getting the receipts. Appreciate it. You know, I remember the days when people used to steal my videos and didn't give me credit. <sighs> And guess what? You just gotta keep it on, keep it on. So I know how it feels. So again, I wanna apologize. All right. So uh, Eugenia Cooney uh, apparently is living with Jeffree Star based on an, a receipt that she had said that she's living with Jeffree Star in Wyoming, living in Wyoming. And a lot of people are starting to clock at the house and they're kind of shocked that she was like, might be living there. Oh, well, you know guys, actually, I'm just like, I'm just kind of living like in Wyoming, you know? <laughs> So it's like, yeah, you know, maybe never. Like, how many kids will I be having? Oh, like h hundreds of kids, you know, just they're all in the way. I guess that that's not how you guys all are like, oh, she's pregnant. Oh, so you got a battle request. To be excited. Oh, you know, guys, actually, I'm just like, I'm just kind of living like in Wyoming. Hold on, I went to the Lego store. Let me show you what I bought. Look, aren't these the coolest thing? So I got these for my friend because he is a teacher and I thought I thought it's like the coolest little, he loves Legos and so, and that's sort of the kids. So it's like a little marker or like pen or whatever. So, you know, it's something cool to, he can grade papers with or do markers or stuff like that. So, all right. Oh, we have mail. Yeah. You have unboxed box. Do you want to say hi to the camera or you're good? I'm okay, I just ate. Okay, that's Elton. Elton, it works goody. Oh, we have a lot of, oh. It actually came, I thought I got scammed. Yo. Oh my God. Okay, so hold on. Elton, you're gonna like that one. So, I fell in love with the Balmain collection when I did this collaboration with Barbie. Boy, that collection is gone. So I had to buy it off those like, um, what do you call that? Like those websites that they resell, like, what's it called? Like, third party. those third, it's like something X, stock X, stock X. and those like, I don't know, far-fetched or whatever. So here we go, we got the Balmain Barbie collaboration. That's really cute. And there's, they're the boys back there. So they help keep, they help keep the show alive. All right, so, you know, when you keep up with all this drama that's always going around. Extra hand to help you out. So guys, Eugenia said that she's living with, with Jeffree Star. I don't believe that. First of all, I just wanna say, don't play with it, let me write it. Because that is what Jeffree Star, I literally have, I, I have fallen down the rabbit hole of Jeffree Star live stream. And it's not just him, it's his whole friend group. Don't play with it, let me write it. I can't, I love it, okay. Um, I also want to say the hands. Eugenia Cooney's hands have been exposed. Apparently, there was some type of filter that was that have happened, and um, her her she went like this, and apparently, of uh, the filter slipped. But I don't know. I I want to believe that that is not her real hand. And then also, you can see like her neck and her chest, like. And I'm, I'm not trying to say anything about like oh the corporate gulp. 
people have been saying that I've, I've, I've been watching this lady on TikTok and she talks like she basically teaches you how to talk like a corporate person and the corporate goal the corporate gulp it's like a big deal it's like a whole thing like oh my god just type in like corporate so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna address the elephant in the room here okay I'm getting a lot of concerning messages from colleagues about some of the messages like this that she's been posting in slack okay so Really quickly, I just wanted to say, first off top, I hope that you're okay, and I'll check in on you at our next one-on-one. -on -one. I'll make it a talking agenda point to see if you're okay, okay, next week, okay? But for now, for the purposes of today's meeting, I think we just need like a little shift in perspective. I know sometimes for me, when I hear about the experiences of others, it easily helps me to shift my perspective. Now, I'm not saying that you need to adopt the way that I think into your lifestyle, but it might be helpful for you to get through the day-to-day -day here at this company, okay? So... You have to think of the think of this floating rock like one big company and think of countries like departments. OK, so we are all here co-creating, working cross departmentally to create this experience that we're having here on this natural resource. OK, and it's all for the purposes of making sure that we're growing and that we're scaling. OK, so when you think about what you bring to the table for this experience, please know that you do have a value add here. Your voice does matter. And the things that we need for this company to keep going forward and forward and forward just may have to happen in work settings. OK, so instead of looking at it like you have to pay your bills, think of it like you're given the opportunity to train some of your expertise so you can have some of these resources to be able to put resources back into the company, the world, okay? So I really hope this helps you uh, get through your day. Uh, you can always reach out to me if you need to put a check-in on my cow. I'll be available. I am taking two weeks um, at the end of this year to kind of just spend time with my family. So once again, uh, we will be looking out for these messages from you on our Slack. Um, if we're seeing more, then we will have to call in HR and legal to have another conversation. Okay? But thank you so much for being here. You're a critical key player in this um, environment. And I just wanted to thank you. all Verbiage, corporate goal on TikTok. You'll fall down that rabbit hole. It's, I'm, I'm shocked by it. Okay. Well, anyways, so th they showed her hand. And I was, I was shocked. I mean, it's very shocking footage. And I don't know, you know, I don't, listen, I love Eugenia. She can do no wrong. And, you know, I get a lot of criticism for supporting Eugenia. I get a lot of criticism for supporting Shane Dawson. A lot of criticism for supporting Jeffree Star. But the person that I met, I F with, and I think they're genuine, nice people. And I don't judge people by their past. Because if you were to judge everyone by their past, it's very, you know, at what point do you want to let go and let God? There's some things that, that I tend to be like, I can't. I, can't, I understand that, but I can't. But, you know, when you tend to meet people, you do humanize them. You know what I'm saying? And so with that being said, love Jeffrey, love Eugenia. They're the queen, can do no wrong. And Shane Dawson. Okay, now listen. I don't know what, what that was with her hand, right? Um, I don't know if that was a glitch. I don't know if that was a filter within a filter. I don't know if that was her real hand. I don't know if it was makeup put on to shock the people. I do not know. But this is talk of the town. Well, Eugenia posted a photo, several photos on her Instagram story, and debunking the rumors that she was so-called living with Jeffree Star because she posted one where she's on, on a private jet flying home. Um, so at the time of making this video, she should be home. And then she posted a photo with uh, I, what I believe is to be a fan at the airport. There's a fan at the airport right there. And with that being said, he is showing his hands. So was that a subliminal message to look at her hands in the previous videos? So I think a lot of people moving forward are gonna be looking at her hands. Eugenia, if you're watching it, wear a little glove. If that's, you know, if you really want to get some views, wear a glove. Have, you know they're going to be looking. Just wear a nice little satin black glove. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Then in the next photo, the very controversial photo, she was seen riding a horse. And I believe this photo was taken in Casper, Wyoming out there. And uh, from what I hear, Casper's a small town. It's not like a, like a big city or anything like that. Let me see if I can pick... I, I want to look at this picture together if it's still up there. So she, she put on there flying back today. So she's letting us know where she's at. Um, and then here she is. And you can see her hand. She's on the horse. Is that a real horse? Yeah. So now we have spoken with the mayor from Casper, Wyoming. Because um, 
Eugenia Cooney rode this statue of a horse. They are now going to take this photo and recreate Eugenia Cooney in a metal form riding a metal horse and it will be a national Wyoming monument now, a statue. So next time you go to Catherine, Wyoming, there will be the statue of Eugenia Cooney on the horse like that and it'll say Eugenia Cooney, legend of the world. TikTok on there now. So the time she visited Wyoming, she sat on that horse and now they're making it a big deal. I obviously couldn't believe it. I obviously couldn't believe they were gonna do that. So now you're gonna see people standing next to that, taking pictures next to that horse thing. So that's the whole gig. Okay. Well, um, I can't wait. I'm super excited to see Dolly Parton perform in Dallas and during the halftime show. So I gotta get going. I'm probably gonna edit this video on the flight up there. You guys know from Houston to Dallas, it's what, a 35 minute flight, 40 minute flight. It's not that far. So it's, I was, I'm, a, I was, I'm gonna sit in the car, edit the video, sit in the plane, edit the video. By the time I land in Dallas, I'll try to upload the video so you guys can watch it. So I just wanna say, have a safe, fabulous, Thanksgiving. Um, I'm gonna try to upload more videos as much as I can from the hotel room or wherever I'm at. And also, thank you for all the lovely comments. And uh, I posted a video earlier today about the Boogie 2988 documentary. I understand that not a lot of my audience, they don't really, they're not really interested in Boogie 2998, but I found that documentary to be very compelling and so I made a video about it because I want to make stuff I want to make videos that I like to make, you know what I'm saying? I don't always want to make videos that I know are going to get views. So if I used to be make videos that you're like, what the hell is that? Check it out. I work hard on the videos. It's my gig and you know, I like it. Anyways, I'll let you guys go. Let me know what you think of all that drama in the comments down below. And um, yeah, and let me know what you think about Eugenia Cooney possibly living with Jeffree Star because we had thought, we had, we really thought that she was going to celebrate um, Thanksgiving with Jeffree Star. And I, I thought she was too. I don't know if her mom Deb is with her or not, but you know, according to what my conclusion was last time, I believe that Deb is with her a lot, maybe for medical reasons, like some type of medical guardian, you know, something like that. You know, I, I, that's why she's with her, which I don't really see a problem with, you know, growing up, there were like one or two family members I had to like look after every now and then. Uh, what do you call that? Caretakers or something? Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I, I don't know. If I did, I probably wouldn't tell y'all because I want to be respectful. But, you know, I want to be within the confines, within good boundaries with people. So, anyways, let me know what you think of all that drama in the comments down below. And I will see you guys later. Bye.